Good evening, musical friends and family. Today is May 4th, 2023, and it is Thursday. Happy Thursday. And may the 4th be with you to all musical friends and family for Star Wars Day. I'm sorry I haven't been posting any podcasts for the last couple of Thursdays that I said I would. Reason being is because on the Thursday, 420, I was on vacation in Seattle. The second Thursday, I came home, but I had a lot of things to have taken care of. I had to take care of a lot of things busy. So now we are going to upload tonight's podcast. Now this podcast, I actually want to call this one Intuition. It's one word, Intuition. That's going to be what this podcast is going to be about. Intuition. Well, we uploaded for tomorrow's song for the Cinco de Mayo playlist part two. Last year, it was, Cinco de Mayo was on the Thursday, so we did something classic and slow, and it, that was based on Me Mucho. And because of this year, Cinco de Mayo plays part two, this year, Cinco de Mayo lands on a Friday. So we're going to do something a little bit more exciting. And the song that I picked, I'm going to throw a hint. It's a Quentin Tarantino along with Antonio Banderas. That is the hint. And for Saturday, Saturday is already uploaded. For Saturday, doing something fun, something to dance to. And we picked a Shakira song. Shakira, that is the hint for Saturday song. And I'll leave it as that. But yes, let me talk about intuition. And intuition, I believe, is something that a lot of us do not listen to, or we don't uh, have a clue of where sometimes of what we feel deep inside of where it comes from, but it's there. Reason being is because before starting this channel, I didn't know exactly who I was. I had a lot of distractions in my life, especially my 20s, like my relationship and going to community college, trying to figure out what major did I want to major in and what classes to take and taking other classes just to see what I like and see what interests me. But it just seems that none of them that I did it clicked. I passed some classes <laughs> that I was proud of. I took a couple of tough teachers in my life and passed. And some of those tough teachers I actually learned something from. The wisdom. And there were some teachers that were very easy I took at the past and they were very, you know, nice pass with fine colors. But yet I still didn't quite figure out what I really wanted. Let alone I didn't even know who I was. I just remember the last time I went to college, I was 25 at a community college. And there was this one class I took and I could not pass it. It took me three times to pass it. And when I realized I was going to get another W or I was going to get a D or F, I remember crying in the hallway at that campus, figuring out what exactly it was I was going to do. I was going to have to take the class over again. It was something that I have to take a new teacher, let alone probably buy another different textbook and just start all over. And in that moment when I was crying, I just remember there was this voice, very strong. And the voice said that, do not cry about this class. And don't worry about what's happening to you. For you are not going to be needing taking this class. This will be your last semester at this campus because you won't be needing that where you're going. 
I thought to myself, are you nuts? I need to pass this class. I need to finish this degree. I need to get something going in terms of what I wanted to do and or what I planned to do. As strange as it was, I listened to that voice. It's like an epiphany. And what I did was I I stopped caring about the class and that was my last semester in college or at that campus. I didn't go back to that campus ever since then. I remember during later on that month I um, took a job at a company and I was there for th 10 months and what happened was I got fired because I was my cash register was under $30 they let me go during that time when I was there at their company I thought that was gonna be my life I thought my life was sad I really thought that was that's what the voice meant that I was gonna stay at the job because of the pay raise they offer, the health benefits, the blah, 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 the vacation pay. And what happened was all the good stuff and something was telling me strongly, no, this is not your outcome. This is part of your life, but it's not your outcome. That same voice. And I said, okay, listen to that one and then uh, we ended up working at other jobs. I remember I worked at a Payless shoe store when they were in business in San Francisco. And then I ended up working at Macy's in Union Square. Great place to work at. And when I left that, I just remember I just turned 26 and I got a casino job which I only stayed there for two weeks. And the reason why I didn't want to stay there any longer because I didn't want to do graveyard shifts, so I dodged that. And in the three months when I wasn't, I didn't have work, I didn't have a job, I just remember I went to the altar and started crying, hoping that something will come through. And then all of a sudden, I get a call from the manager, my manager who I work with now. And he told me what the address to go, what time and what day for the interview back in San Francisco at my restaurant job where in the interview I was talking to my manager about the restaurant. Something was telling me, Allie, there was that voice again and said, Allie, do not say bento box and don't say California rules. Why? Just don't. And so I didn't. And it's a good thing I didn't. <laughs> but anywho, I got I got hired. I was a tryout. Well, uh, two days after that interview, I was trying out. And I was trying out. And even though I didn't really quite had experience in that job, like taking phone calls, answering emails, I wasn't really quite, um, I could do lift of 50 pounds and I would do heavy lifting and work like that. But it was tough at first, but at the time the, when the crew was there, the ser servers and the the old crew, they really supported me, even though I didn't really have any confidence in myself. And thankfully, my manager, the one who I work with now, he had a lot of confidence in me too. He gave me a chance. And that chance, well, it turned out seven years later. I'm still present there. And during that time, when I was working at the restaurant after three years working there, I thought this was it. This is gonna be the job. This is gonna be my outcome. For I wanted to still be there. I still, still wanna be there. And a voice was telling me, this is gonna be a part of your life, but I'm not gonna say 
what's next? So another mystery, right? It was that same voice. And I just remember the pandemic came 2020 where my job closed on March 16th, 2020. I was still in my relationship at the time. And I just remember it was a scary moment at that time. It was an uncertainty, especially when you couldn't be around your friends, your loved ones. You couldn't be around anybody. And I just remember that. And even though it was kind of nerve wracking, it was really like a scary time. Something was saying, it's going to be okay. I listened to that too. I just remember that on that day, May, March, I'm sorry, March 17th, 2020, that was on St. Patrick's Day. I remember I filmed the first video and I called it LD Diary, which is a lockdown diary. And it was the first time I was talking on a camera. And something was telling me, you're going to remember this video. You're going to remember doing this. Whatever the hell that meant. <laughs> and then I started talking in other videos. We started to do like a series about LD Diaries, Lockdown Diaries. I believe I only did up to 50. About what I learned to cook today. Or I learned Chinese dishes from YouTube. Or because I wanted some Chinese food. I want some chef fun or nail art tutorials because we had a lot of time on our hands and for some reason there was somewhere in July of 2020 I sat in my room and a very strong voice said to me start practicing that piano What? Why? Just start practicing. Well, what would I play? Play anything. So, I started practicing the piano. And I was practicing and practicing that year in July. And at the time, it was just me and my piano, and that was it. August came, I was supposed to go to the Backstreet Boys concert. We did a Backstreet Boys playlist, a small one. September was supposed to be the Rammstein concert of 2020 of that year. Well, that's when we did Rammstein songs on the piano. Practice it as if we were all at that concert in spirit. And then October came, that's when we did the October playlist, the first one. Not, not at all had a clue of what to do, not at, did not have an idea, but I just knew there was costume, lights, and music. So we did 31 days of song of that year. And I just remember we did the anime playlist part one, Yerby playlist part one, like a top 10 for each playlist. It was like every other upload every other day. December was the first December playlist part one in 2020. And that was a top 26 songs. During that year, 2020, I practiced these songs as if we were all in those events or functions or holidays we were celebrating in spirit. Going to concert in spirit, trick-or-treating in spirit, being there at Thanksgiving in spirit, celebrating your beat songs in spirit. Celebrating Christmas in spirit, and that's what it was about. And now I look back on it now, after the experimentation year, upload every other day or every other week in 2021. 
and did read the song a day in 2022, the book I didn't think I could write but did. And now doing book two, a song a day for this year. That voice that I questioned throughout my life, that I listened to, and sounds crazy, but that was the intuition. And it's not, and it's, it's this gut feeling, this feeling that you know that this is what you had to do. And a lot of people don't listen to it because it sounds crazy, but it's true. It, it, it exists. The intuition that I listen to, as crazy as it sounds, led me to what I'm doing now and what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I hope this podcast episode will encourage you to listen to your intuitions too, whatever that is in life. Well, I think that's it for this tonight's podcast. Until the next podcast. Stay safe and stay healthy always, and have a good evening.